Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another bit of review. Hope you're all enjoying your bank holiday weekend. It's Sunday, it's about half past six. Uh, I've had a couple of pints already, can't deny that. I had a couple of cheeky uh, Camden tops early on uh, after I've done some gardening. I've had about four or five, possibly six pints of uh, Francis Scanner. So yeah, we've come home now, we're at the in-laws having some dinner and some beer and we've come home now and I've decided to do a beer review and I keep looking down because I've got the beer in my hand uh, and the beer we are looking at is from Wild Horse Brewing Co and they're out of land did no let me just try and adjust the camera a little bit uh, they're out of land did no uh, North Wales coastline really good brewery and the beer we are looking at is their elements number 12 which is a Vienna lager it's coming in at 5.2% uh, this was part of a 12 pack of beers that I bought uh, a couple of weeks ago. I don't think, I think there was maybe one beer that coming at four quid before the discount. I think this was maybe £3.80, got 10% off, so coming in about £3.50. A quick show of the artwork, that's their usual stuff. It's sort of like lots of beer related stuff, I think, if you like. Uh, on the back, I'm not going to tell you about the Elements thing. Elements 12 is an elegant amber coloured Vienna lager balancing soft bready malt character with a crisp refreshing finish. Tells you about all the Elements things. They start doing different things with different styles of beer, uh, but I won't go into that too deep. Now, I have looked up what sort of glass you want. Uh, they do recommend a Pilsner glass or a Pils, Pilsen style glass, style glass, but I am going to go with this one, the Lacquer Mars and Glass because uh, that'll do. It's a lager style glass. It's a slightly different shape than this one I don't use very often. So let's crack on, dive in, get it open, see what we get. Just come out the shed this one. It's not massively chilled, but to be honest, for a darker lager, I wouldn't have it massively chilled anyway. I've got one in the fridge at about five degrees. God knows what this is. It's been outside for... Well, since I got back Friday, actually, and it was in the van a lot then. All week, I think, it was in the van all week then. So, uh, yeah, so it's, it, it was well and truly sort of chilled. If anything, it's just kind of warmed up a bit. There is a little bit left in the can. I'll put that in after. But beer in a glass, it's a non-nucleated glass. There is a few, a few bubbles going up. It's sort of, yeah, I mean, amber. I don't want to say that's amber, that looks sort of like more sort of like a deep golden colour. Gentle carbonation, a good finger and a half of really compact white head. Looks very decent. So let's dive in, see what we get on the nostrils. Yes, very bready, dark, darker malts if you like. It smells exactly like a a Vienna lager, even Marzen like this, traits of Marzen, Marzen in there. A little sweetness maybe, a little toffee note. But yeah, nothing nasty. Like I say, it's all malt, a little toffee note, a little bit of sweetness. And that's about it really. So let's get the rest out of the can. Get it in there. Let's get a nice big sort of... German style head on the beer. Get some down my finger and we'll dive in. Wild Horse Brewing Co's Vienna Lager, Elements Number 12, 5.2% ABV. Cheers, everyone. Have a good one. Yeah. Vienna, Vienna Lager all day on that for me. Uh, I'm not going to say it's bang on with every other Vienna Lager I've tasted, but the notes are there, exactly what you expect. Body, smooth, creamy, bready, a nice sort of a decent body, but easy drinking sort of body as well. At the same time, you know. Carbonation is in there. You don't really feel it as you drink it as much, uh, as such. 
it's when it touches your palate, when it touches your palate and it touches your lips, you get a little fizz of carbonation. That's all you get. There's no like massive bloating of carbonation. Smooth, easy drinking, lovely mouthfeel, goes down a treat. It, it really does glide down the hatch, it's got to be said. I'm gonna see if I can get any more out I can because nobody likes waste. Let's dive in and see what I can give you on the taste notes now. Yeah, malty. Now, not a flavor that I tend to put in videos because it's always sort of like caramel toffee, but there is a little butterscotch feel to this, I think. It's, it's kind of subtle, sweet. It's that sort of taste along with the maltiness. The hops are kind of hidden in the background, but I am picking them up. Malty, again, like I say, malty, malty, oh, butterscotch, butterscotch, hoppy, a little bit sweet. Really drinkable, 5.2%. I think it drinks bang on, bang on there for me. Uh, the sort of percentage, no alcohol obviously, uh, no sort of alcohol burn or any massive alcohol taste, but it just feels like something at about 5.2%. Goes down really well. I like it, I think they've done a good job of that. That is a, a nice drop. A little, I'm not gonna say massively different from other Vienna lagers. But obviously there will always be different tastes with different uh, breweries doing different stuff, different water and what have you. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that that's really good. I do like that. That's a, that's a really nice Vienna Lager. Maybe a little bit lighter than some of the ones I've had. So that's where it has slightly different taste, but it's really enjoyable. So uh, yeah, for me, Wild Horse Brewing Co. And their Elements Number no. 12 Vienna Lager. Gets a big thumbs up for me. Uh, I'd happily drink that again. That goes down a treat. A little bit colder might be better, a degree or two, but but otherwise, bang on. So uh, if you like this style, you're gonna love it. If you don't like the style, you maybe won't like it. But it it's not. It's it's just ten percent down maybe on some some other Vienna lagers that I've had. So it may appeal to you, but. I like it, really drinkable, decent drop. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. If you're ever in that, did know, go and visit Wild Horse Brewing Co. because they're a cracking brewery. That's it for this one. Enjoy the rest of your bank holiday weekend, and I'll see you again soon on another one. Cheers.